this morning I'm going to smoke a chuck roast. I'm going to show you how to set up the Kamado grill for uh, medium heat smoking. I don't like to smoke it low and slow. I've tried that. It's too much of a hassle. Around 275, 300 degrees is good. Um, first thing you do is get any old coals out of here. You want to reuse those. And fill your chimney up with uh, whatever charcoal you want to use. Right, grab your paper, put it under your chimney. And give it a light. All right, we'll come back and check on this in a few minutes. All right, as you can see, we've got fire just starting to come out of the top of the chimney. Um, coals are lit about halfway up. That's good for a smoke. Grab your fire, dump it in. I'm gonna open this vent bottom vent about half an inch. Distribute the coals evenly. So I'm going to do this smoke with some mesquite. Just grab a few chunks. I go with like I don't know, four or five. Grab your middle grate. Grab your steel plate. <clears throat> now this keeps the direct heat off of the meat. Grab your top grate. I've got it smeared with uh, bacon grease. Keeps it in good shape. All right, I'm going to close the lid. I'm going to open the top vent fully. I've got a temperature regulating thingy. That's the technical term, thingy. I'll put uh, links to information in the description on this device here. Basically, it regulates the temperature of your grill, and you don't have to constantly mess with it. So that goes on top. All right, then this little plate hanger goes on here. And clips. Like so. Keeps that up there. Keeps that mounted up on top. Regulates the temperature. <clears throat> Alright, I've got a temperature, a little Bluetooth temperature monitor thingy. And this lets me monitor the temperature on my phone. 
from anywhere in the house. So when I mount this probe here above the plate, you don't want to put it on the edge where all the heat's coming up through. Just above the plate, like so. All right, I've got my chuck roast here. It's been sitting in the kitchen, salted it earlier. Um, just going real simple, just using salt. Uh, it's got some nice marbling in it. Should be pretty good. Pop that on the grill. Get your temperature probe. You want to sink it about halfway through the meat, right smack in the middle. All right. Okay, so I've got the app hooked up. Uh, you can see the temperature is getting up to about 226. Um, now, the, this has an adjustment on it. It lets you spin this little knob so that you can adjust the temperature that you want to have it set at. So we're getting at about 234. Uh, so what you want to do is adjust this knob so that this closes. So now that it's closed, you just want to close it. Don't put any pressure on it. You can spin this further, but it puts pressure on it and that decreases your temperature. So just so it just closes and then let it go. So right now we're at 250, 252. It's still going to climb a little bit. Um, I'll come back later and show you uh, the graph. This will display a graph which shows you how well it regulated it. Um, all right, so you just let it go for a little while. Check the temperature every once in a while and probably go for about five hours. We'll come back later. All right, so I stepped outside to check the temperature. Um, we're at 273 degrees. And you can see by the graph there, it's been pretty steady over the past hour, hour and a half. Um, yeah, so we'll let it go for a few more hours. Keep checking it. And we'll want it to get up to, uh, get the meat up to about 210 degrees. You can see right now it's at 102. That's the probe that's in our meat. All right, so this has been smoking for about six hours now. And it's done. Look at that. We got it up to an internal temperature of about 210. And you can see, just pull apart tender. Mm. Mm. That is so good. Mm. All right, so I've pulled the chuck roast off the grill. It's been sitting here for a little bit. Look at that, doesn't that look good? Got a little bit of bark here on the outside. It just pulls apart. Yummy. All right, it's time to eat.